Ayo! It's Ronnie. Team Go Rocket Grunt Facts, go! Grunts appear at Rocket Stops 24 hours a day. Once these grunts spawn at Poke Stops, you only have 30 minutes to make it there before they fade away. They also appear in balloons four times a day. Just make sure you don't have a rocket radar attached. Rocket Grunt battles follow the same exact style as PvP. Okay, maybe without the lag. Unlike PvP, there's no Pokemon that you can't use during these battles. So you can feel free to use your Megas and your brand new Shiny Ditto as well. A really good way to try to build up to best buddy with one of your buddy Pokemon is by simply using it in a Team Go Rocket battle. Since grunts spawn all the time, it's a pretty easy target. Every battle that you do with your buddy in a Team Go Rocket battle, you actually get a battle point from that. This can be kind of hit or miss sometimes. Just make sure that your buddy actually makes it into the battle and does at least a couple hits. Grunts don't use shields. Make sure you fire off your charge attacks often as possible. There's no penalty for you using your shield. So if you see a grunt getting ready to let off a charge attack, make sure you put up a shield. Team Go Rocket grunts always use the true movesets of the Pokemon they're using. And even though they drop shadow Pokemon, the Pokemon they use never use frustration. Team Go Rocket Pokemon use different movesets just like you. One Snorlax might use Lick, one Snorlax might use Zen Headbutt. Always be prepared with the best possible counters. You get a set amount of Premier Balls every time you defeat a Team Go Rocket Grunt. But you lose a Premier Ball every time your Pokemon gets knocked out. If you want to use the most Premier Balls, make sure you switch out your Pokemon before it gets KO'd. Grunts always take a pause after they use charge attacks and after you switch Pokemon. Make sure you try to sneak in one or two quick attacks during this time. This isn't practice. If you lose to Team Go Rocket, your Pokemon don't get healed after the battle. But you can always rematch as many times as you would like. But you won't be able to enter a battle if you don't have at least three Pokemon that aren't fainted. Defeating a Team Go Rocket Grunt, whether you catch the Shadow Pokemon or not, will always leave you a mysterious component. You have to collect six of these components to complete a Rocket Radar. However, once you complete one Rocket Radar, even if you have just one in your bag, you won't receive any more mysterious components from defeating Team Go Rocket Grunts. You need to track down and defeat a Team Go Rocket Leader in order to start the cycle over again and start collecting more mysterious components. Once you spin a Pokestop or start an encounter from a balloon, you're free to move. You can actually move all the way up to 500 feet or 0.031 of a mile and still keep that encounter going. You won't be able to catch a Shadow Pokemon from a Team Go Rocket Grunt if you have no storage space, you have no bag space, or if you're moving more than 10 miles an hour. Slow it down, buddy. Slow it down. My favorite part about a Team Go Rocket Grunt being at a Pokestop is that you can get double items. You can spin the Pokestop the first time you see the Grunt, and after you defeat the Grunt, you can spin the Pokestop again. Team Go Rocket Grunts always use one random Pokemon from a set of three Pokemon for each encounter. After defeating a Grunt, you get a chance to get one of their Pokemon. There's an 85% chance you're gonna get a Pokemon from the first category, and only a 15% chance of getting a Pokemon from the second category. There's also a 0% chance of getting a Pokemon from the third category. If you're using any kind of auto catcher, your auto catcher will still continue to pick up items even when you're in a battle with a Team Go Rocket Grunt. Once you enter a bonus catch screen for catching a shadow Pokemon, your auto catcher will stop spinning stops and will stop collecting Pokemon. Even though grunts always leave behind a shadow Pokemon, these Pokemon will never be shiny. You can only get shiny Pokemon from Team Go Rocket leaders. Contrary to what it says in the Pokemon Go support, Team Go Rocket battles do not give you experience points. However, you do get 500 Stardust for every encounter. Putting lure modules on a Pokestop has nothing to do with Team Go Rocket grunts. Even if you have a lured up Pokestop, Team Go Rocket grunts still have a chance of spawning at that Pokestop. At any given time, there's always 18 different Team Go Rocket grunts available. Take note that some of the Pokemon that the male and females use are gender exclusive. This team of three Pokemon has been rumored to never lose a Team Go Rocket grunt battle no matter what Pokemon Team Go Rocket uses. Rhyperior, Mudslap, Rockwrecker, Surf, Charizard, Firespin, Blastburn, Dragon Claw, Lucario, Counter, 
Shadow Ball, Power Up Punch. So I've never used this team before and I wanna use it right now. Not to get too off subject, but we have a wild frillish outside right now. Whoop. Hey. Hit that with a little pineapple berry. Yes, sir. Let me know in the comments if you have ever seen a blue one. Because I've seen a couple of videos. I've only seen the pink ones. Do the blue ones even exist? Got him. So. Hey, a brand new Pokemon added to the decks. Awesome. Check some IVs. Bop, bop. All right, back to the subject. So we're going to use this unstoppable party. I'm going to use it in the exact order that I listed. I have no idea what this grunt's going to be. So you see we have a male grunt, and his is Go My Superbug Pokemon. So this one's pretty much going to be no match. So just a quick note that every Pokemon that I use myself personally is about level 42, 43, but it shouldn't too much defer or differ to what you're going to use. So we're going to have an obvious advantage here. We'll boom, make it through this first one. And this will be a good idea, a good time for you guys to take notes. If you've never done a rocket battle, this is how it works. See, it doesn't matter what he does. I'm always going to use a shield. So I'm going to charge up. Bop, bop. Drop this rock wrecker. Why not? Because I'm not really saving for anything I'm probably going to overpower most Rocket Grunts. There's only a few hard ones that are actually out there in the game. So cool, we got Pinsir. I'm going to go ahead and switch to Charizard. Just like I said, this team should be pretty much effective against everything. So we got Charizard here, Charizard with Blast Burn. Blast Burn is a community day move, so do take note of that. You're going to need an Elite Charge TM if you want to get a Blast Burn on your Charizard. That's done, that's a wrap, and I'm pretty sure, there we go. We got Scyther. Now, if I did have him my right period, I could use Rock Wrecker and pretty much one hit this Scyther right here. Now, do take note that since I did switch out my own Pokemon, I'm not going to have access to another Pokemon. But that's really not going to matter. I wish I had kind of a better example, but this team does seem to be pretty effective, at least for bug types. So I did have that covered. Got my 500 Stardust. Working on my badge for Grunts. Boom, boom. And now we get to our catch screen. Nice throw. And there we go. Zero star, <laughs> zero star internet for the decks. Look at me. Look at me go. But feel free to try it out. Let me know in the comments below how it works for you. But don't forget to power those guys up to the max. This video was the follow-up to my complete guide to Team Go Rocket. They all drop one-liners, and these one-liners are going to tell you specifically what their strongest Pokemon in their party is going to be. That's going to be detailed fully in my next video in my Team Go Rocket series. It's definitely been a good day to have a great day. And if you learned something or if you learned nothing, make sure you let me know in the comments below. Strike a pose on that like button. Subscribe now to join the AO fam. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Bye. Perfect. Supreme victory!